June 18th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 70 and 71 from the Old Testament. O oh God, please be willing to rescue me. O oh Lord, hurry and help me. May those who are trying to take my life be embarrassed and ashamed. May those who want to harm me be turned back and ashamed. May those who say, aha, aha, be driven back and disgraced. May all those who seek you be happy and rejoice in you. May those who love to experience your deliverance say continually, may God be praised. I am oppressed and needy. O oh God, hurry to me. You are my helper and my deliverer. O oh Lord, do not delay. In you, O oh Lord, I have taken shelter. Never let me be humiliated. Vindicate me by rescuing me. Listen to me. Deliver me. Be my protector and refuge, a stronghold where I can be safe, for you are my high ridge and my stronghold. My God, rescue me from the power of the wicked, from the hand of the cruel oppressor, for you give me confidence, O Lord. O Lord, I have trusted in you since I was young. I have leaned on you since birth. You pulled me from my mother's womb. I praise you continually. Many are appalled when they see me, but you are my secure shelter. I praise you constantly and speak of your splendor all day long. Do not reject me in my old age. When my strength fails, do not abandon me. For my enemies talk about me. Those waiting for a chance to kill me plot my demise. They say God has abandoned him. Run and seize him, for there is no one who will rescue him. O oh God, do not remain far away from me. My God, hurry and help me. May my accusers be humiliated and defeated. May those who want to harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. As for me, I will wait continually and will continue to praise you. I will tell about your justice and all day long proclaim your salvation, though I cannot fathom its full extent. I will come and tell about the mighty acts of the Sovereign Lord. I will proclaim your justice yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young, and I am still declaring your amazing deeds. Even when I am old and gray, O oh God, do not abandon me. Until I tell the next generation about your strength and those coming after me about your power. Your justice, O oh God, extends to the skies above. You have done great things. O oh God, who can compare to you? Though you have allowed me to experience much trouble and distress, revive me once again. Bring me up once again from the depths of the earth. Raise me to a position of great honor. Turn and comfort me. I will express my thanks to you with a stringed instrument. Praising your faithfulness, O oh my God, I will sing praises to you accompanied by a harp, O oh Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy. Yes, I will sing your praises. I will praise you when you rescue me. All day long, my tongue will also tell about your justice. For those who want to harm me will be embarrassed and ashamed. God, it's interesting. I was just talking to a friend of mine who... Her daughter blames you, as I, as I know you are, I know... Her daughter blames you for being so far away from you. How in the world can I trust a God who puts me through so much trouble? Now, granted, her current trouble is all consequences from things that she did. It was interesting. She overheard a conversation where the person said, perhaps you should think about this, about why God would would you or leave you in those situations a God who loves you a God who cares for you a God who created you and I think about that a lot when I am in those situations that aren't created by me and why do you have me there uh, you could in a moment's notice take me out of that situation so why do you have me in that situation what is it that I need to learn or what is it I need to teach somebody else? Or what is it I need to experience? Or perhaps it's something that I need to show them about you. Or maybe they need to show me about you. 
it's just amazing to me anytime I'm in an uncomfortable situation or a situation I think is bad, there is always something that you make good out of that situation. And I'm kind of in two odd situations right now. One that I think is very bad <laughs> and hopefully will go away soon. And I have learned a lot in that situation. A lot about myself, a lot about you, a lot about other people. And I also have an, an odd situation that you're allowing me to stay in that I don't, I don't know why I'm in. It's not that it's bad, but it's, it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> I guess that's the best way I could put it. But I trust you. I didn't always, but I trust you. I trust that you always know what's best for me. I trust that you always know better than I do. And I definitely trust that you love me enough to take me into situations or take me out of situations because of that amazing love that you have for me. God, thank you so much for being the father that teaches me and guides me and loves me and gives me grace and forgives me when I mess up all the time. In your son's name, I pray. Amen.